Welcome back to watching film. Today we're going to take a look at the Memphis defense. Um, they're not quite as impressive uh, statistically or um, I guess not really personnel-wise as the offense, but they're still pretty good. Statistically, they're um, above average in most categories, and um, I think they don't do anything especially schematically you know, wild or you know, anything real crazy. Um, I think they're just kind of a fast, physical, aggressive defense, and they they play aggressively. They, they like to play here, so, um, you know, let's kind of take a look. So they like to play four guys up front. So you see the four-man front. The guy into the boundary here, they like to stand up that end. Um, I'm not sure if they like to drop him or not. I didn't see a ton of it. Uh, so you kind of got a 4-3 here. So four down linemen, three linebackers. They like to play a lot of two high, but they'll mix it up. So here they kind of have a three high look, but they like to play a lot of two high safeties. So those would be your two high safeties right there. Here they have the cornerback, so it's a three deep look. But there's your corners, your two safeties, and then your other corner here. Um, so you'll see a lot of 4-3 with the stand-up into the boundary. They're pretty aggressive in fitting the run here, so you'll see – an aggressive run fit here. And here they're also you also see them show kind of a too high, but with this him being deep and him being more towards the middle of the field, you think something might be coming. He rotate. So they rotate him down. But there's just a fast and aggressive to the ball. physical defensive line that they'll move so here you can kind of see they're moving them little slants guys coming to the fill there so they're not they're not going to really sit back and just kind of play they're going to be uh, aggressive not necessarily with blitzes every time but they'll do some movement up front here's another great fit a lot of times so you'll see they're going to be motion here then jet sweep a lot of times um, there's kind of two schools of thought on it. A lot of the college teams like to leave this in unblocked. And then, you know, kind of split the line. So have half the line running this way, half the line running the other way. So zone this way, jet, like wide zone this way. And leave this guy in the lurch and make him react. Well, Memphis is fast off the ball and physical. So you leave that dude unblocked, and he's just going to end up smoking the jet sweep guy here. Because he just he just gets downhill and attacks it. And again, here's four down. Here's your stand-up defensive end to the boundary. So here's another example of them fitting a run well, but you're getting some type of movement in here. All right, so you're getting movement there. He looks like actually he's coming through here. He may be coming in behind, but he squeezes through the zone, makes a back cut back, and then the linebacker's there to fill. And now they swarm to the football here. And again, kind of predicated on that fast, aggressive movement up front. Um, they'll do it in passing downs too. You'll kind of see here. Here's your stand up in. And kind of slanting this way and bring him all the way back across here on a second and 10. And this is that right there was number 94. who also specializes as a fullback for them on offense and uh, kills people blocking. And then kind of playing what looks like a cover two behind it. So here's your two high safeties. Deep half, deep half, kind of flat player kind of he can sink it underneath anything but he's flat player keeping the ball in front of them rally and make a tackle forcing a third down now they don't fit everything perfectly um, their aggression sometimes can take them out of plays so here you'll see him widen with the motion again you got two high safeties here the back causes some movement. And you 
have a stick route here. So it's probably stick draw by the offense. Here's a stick. The linebacker goes to cover it up, and they run draw with the quarterback. And here's where you're hoping, you know, they're not quite as explosive, I'd say, as their offensive guys. Because I don't think uh, this dude's running away from anybody on the Memphis offense skill-wise. So not quite as good as the offense, but still you see this guy's got some speed here coming towards the backside. But, you know, this, they're not perfect. You can break some runs on them. You can break some gains on them. They're not um, – they're not an overwhelmingly unbelievable defense, but they are going to be aggressive. And sometimes you can take advantage of that aggression, as like we saw last week with uh, USF taking advantage of the Cincinnati aggression and throwing a hitch and go. So here's an example of, uh, you know, you got the movement up front. Well, now from the boundary side, we'll add in a corner blitz here. Get the safety over the top. Again, this is something we saw USF do. You're going to rotate him to the middle of the field. But if you don't get there, you know, I've got a chance to make a play now. I don't think their back end is great tackling. Um, they're kind of uh, catching here, but they stick their nose in there and make the tackle. something they will do so they'll we've seen them play cover two we've seen them play cover three in the red zone they like to play a lot of man and here um temple has a really good play call but memphis has good players on defense they make a play but right here them being in man is going to give them this may be a spot where if usf can get in the red zone um you know you're going to see man coverage down here so right now you have them outflanked you know that you have a good play on now maybe you, this since this guy didn't uh, you know since the demons back had to slow down maybe USF will get called for offensive pass interference again. It'd be about as um, legitimate as the one from last week. But good play by the uh, Memphis defensive back there to come up and make that play. But right there he's open, so it, they might be able to kind of get some leverage quickly by. Um, you know, using motion against the man coverage. So, hey, we just talked about they like to play man coverage in the red zone. Well, how about this? We're going to rush seven guys. One of these guys may be an add-on. They might have the back man-to-man, -man, but we're bringing seven dudes. Now get the ball out of your hand, and we're going to play man coverage. And right here should be an interception. He ends up dropping it. It looks like he the – Temple player catches it, but it falls. You can see the ref signal here, incomplete. But here, you you really schemed them into throwing a pick right here because you got pressure. So it's kind of almost like I'm pinching in here. I'm jumping inside. If I get the tackle to turn with me, he's coming inside. Or we got two guys coming outside. Everybody else is coming inside. Then you're adding the linebacker on. So I've got five guys coming inside these five gaps. I only have five linemen in their back to protect. So I'm bringing one more than they can block. And we get a couple guys free, including one of the defensive linemen. That right here is 94. We plays a little fullback for them. Nice little swim move or arm over. Gets to the quarterback. And they got three guys at the quarterback. And almost forced an interception here. Now I guess so. A lot, so they're when I say they're aggressive, I mean they are aggressive. It's third and twenty. Um, you're up two touchdowns here, so it's 28-14. Third and twenty. A lot of people sit back and play coverage, um, but they decide we're going to bring seven, make them get the ball to the hand quick, then rally and tackle. So you get two coming here. Tulsa must be a four-man slide team. You got the slide coming this way. This guard's coming to pick up him. You got center coming for him. The other guard for him. The tackle for him. But now you've actually pushed. So on the front side, you got four for four. So these four for these four. But now on the back side, you have a tackle. 
in the back for three Memphis Tigers here. So there's your numbers advantage right there. The guard slides over. The tackle goes out to the end. And right here, we're going to come free to the quarterback. Force him to get the ball out of his hands. And we'll rally and tackle. Short of the first down, forcing a field goal. Now, so, now you're thinking, you know, they gave up a lot of yards. But if they get the sack here, maybe force them out of field goal range. So it's kind of a risk, high risk, high reward type play. Um, but still, you don't give up a first down. You make you force a quick throw, so expect them to be aggressive, even in longer down and distances. It doesn't just kind of stay, um, you know, with with short distances where they're going to bring blitz or they may be expecting run. They'll bring them to maybe force a quick plat, a quick pass on third and long. So here's a six man pressure here. Just bringing him off the edge inside, and then adding another one on. This safety is going to come down and play number two. You see they're rolling him to the middle of the field, bringing him down, and bringing a six-man pressure here. SMU has a pretty good call here, but they're able to rally and tackle. So it's a pretty good job here by the corner. We've seen some guys whiff in space, but this is a really good job. On a big tight end that's really good with the ball in his hand. So, forcing a quick throw, then rallying and making a tackle. Here's another six man pressure. You kind of don't catch a snap here, but we're bringing six. And then, again, here's the ball's on the 20, so they're in the red zone. Well, guess what they're playing? Man to man. He. Has the back here, so once he sees the back stay in the block, he's going to add on. So it turns into a seven-man pressure with the add-on blitz. Force a tough throw, force a quick throw. Maybe I have to throw it now a little bit before my, my guy, my tight end here gets out of his break. He's not quite out of his break yet. He's just getting out of it, and now I have to throw it, and that throws my timing off a little bit. And just by being, you know, being aggressive and bringing it, so they're not going to really sit back and just let USF pick them apart. You know, they're going to, they're going to be fast and physical and aggressive. And, you know, here's another portion of the game that Memphis, uh, you know, takes some pride in is they do some, you know, they take pride in special teams. And this is probably where you lost the game last week against Cincinnati was on special teams, allowing kick returns and having punts get downed and, um, you know, Memphis has had a punt block this year, but for the most part, their special teams has been able to do some pretty good stuff. So here's a point in the game where the opening kickoff of the third quarter, SMU's thinking, all right, we'll come out, we'll kick. Uh, we're only down a touchdown. We'll come out and kick and um, get a stop, and then we have a chance to go up and score. And uh, they kick it to Antonio Gibson, who we talked about in the offensive uh, side of things. And he's going to take it all the way back for a touchdown. And puts them up by two scores. And the score, the winning margin ended up being six. So this is kind of a, game, a play that, um, you know, without this, maybe they don't win this game. But a big play from the Memphis special teams. And here's another one. And, you know, this punter, uh, this is a pretty interesting fake they have on here. That's a pretty good throw right there. Not a great throw, but hey, man, give your guy a chance to make the play. Punter lets it rip from the 50. It's about a 40-yard pass, and then we'll do a little, you know, Pythagorean theorem here. You look at the legs in the old hypotenuse. All right, that's a pretty long throw, really. So probably a 40-yard-plus throw here from the old punter. But, hey, they're just taking a shot. And, look, I mean, it's not exactly a blowout here where we can screw around. So we talked about the defense being aggressive. Well, it seems like the, the staff in general is aggressive. Um, you know, if they're going to punt from here to the 38, you know, expect them to maybe pull something out like this. 
Um, you know, with that offense, I wouldn't expect them to be punting too much. Um, in inside opponent territory, but you know, so if they line up in it, you got to think something tricky is coming. So, not only is their defense good, they they spend some time on special teams and they have pretty good special teams too. So, it's going to be a really tough matchup um, for USF. They're going to have to probably play their best game of the year to have a chance to win. Uh, but they seem to be improving as of late. So we'll kind of see what happens and um, see if the USF offense is able to keep up with the Memphis offense because I don't think this will be a low-scoring game um, regardless of how good uh, USF's defense has played. Uh, I, I think Memphis offense is really tough to stop, and you're going to have to score some points to beat them. You're not going to beat them. Um, you know, in the in the in the teens, you got to get in the high twenties, probably thirty. Temple beat him thirty to twenty eight. You're gonna have to kind of replicate um, that formula for success. So uh, it should be interesting to see how USF can take advantage of the phys fast, physical, and aggressive Memphis Tiger defense on Saturday.